most of you remember my review of the rugged Doji phone last year. Well, they sent me another phone, the Doji S95, and we're going to have a look. This video isn't sponsored, but they did send the phone. Doji phones are at about mid price range $300 or so, and to be honest, you can expect about two years of hard use and abuse out of them. It's not the kind of phone people are gentle with, so it's hard to make a fair comparison. I use mine as a shop phone when I don't want to risk scratching up or getting glue in my regular phone. If you are prone to dropping, sitting on, or otherwise breaking your phones, or have a teenager that does that, Doji phones are a great option. I would like to thank Doji for sending a review unit to my friends at the Uganda Teen STEM Club. And this is Sam from Skymark, and today we have something new. It's the Doji M100. They go out flying their drones in the fields, and their Doji phone is more than tough enough to keep up and shoot video of their adventures. I'll link to their review in the description box. As we all know, I don't respect off the box. The numbers in mobile tech are too easy to game, so I'll just link to them. Let's unbox it and see in the real world if this is something worth looking at. So this is what they sent to me. They sent uh, the phone and some accessories. This is their uh, wireless earbud. This is their uh, earphones. I guess this they use Bluetooth earphone probably because they don't have uh, earphone jacks. And also they sent me this. They sent me an ex external uh, camera. We will try that out later. So there, at the bottom, there are other accessories comes with this. This is their. Ex uh, this is the power module. If you, this is magnetic. If you. Uh, attach this module to the phone, you can charge it automatically. And the other module it gives us is this <laughs> hi-fi speaker and it has a kickstand on the back. This acts the volume and it's a portable speaker. As long as you attached it, you don't have to bring your own speaker and it has an independent built-in battery inside, so it's pretty convenient. We'll test it later also. Right, let's get to business and take a look at the phone. This is just the uh, manual and stuff. I have an alcohol wipe for you to put on the protector. And cable and adapter for you to charge the phone. Let's first take a look on their uh, design. So they sent me the S90 before, they sent me the S90 before and this is the S95 before on the back there is a fingerprint lock here and this one they change it to the side, the fingerprint lock is on the side instead of on the back and the SIM slot are on both sides, the left side on the right side. So it has dual SIM, you can put in dual SIM card. Unlike some phones, they only have one uh, SIM card slot. Let's take a look at it and open it. So the SIM tray will come out and then you can put your SIM card in. Let's put it back in. On the left side, it's the same. So let's turn it on right now. I haven't charged my phone, I just unboxed it like this. So let's see how much battery it left. But I'm not worried about that. Connect to mobile network skip. So checking for updates. Oh, the first thing it appears on the phone is checking updates for you. That's great. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, it checks updates for you to update the firmware. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours. 
or while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Right now it says unlock with fingerprints. Your fingerprint. Next. Fingerprint and pin. On the side of your phone, use your finger. Right fingerprint added. Why this update? Okay. Alright, now we are in their main menu. It's, they have all the Google stored and stuff. Let's go to the setting. Alright. So setting, as I mentioned before, there is a side key here. If you want it to work, you go in and you can assign function functionality to it one click no operation one click is usually mm, start recording um google sos call oh that's what it is for no wonder it says if you want to set it up for sos function you have to go to the uh, setting sos call settings in the open state, you can active the call for help and send SMS automatically through Smart Kit. That is very useful. Okay. Later, I'm going to uh, mess around with that. So because it has the <laughs> the speaker, the Hi-Fi speaker, I want to test it. So I'm going to play some video and has a stand. I think you have to turn this on separately. Okay, let's go to Yoku. Mm -hmm. And turn up the water. Okay, what if without it, I just want to use the stereo? on the back of the Duji phone. Let's see. It's still very loud without the um, without the hi-fi speaker. It's still uh, very loud and clear. But the good thing is with this, right? I just attached it to on attached it on the back so I could bring it with me like uh, to um, the party or something I don't need to bring an extra one and let's go to Taobao most of the time I spend <laughs> I spend my, my day shopping components find, trying to find components on Taobao and let's go to qq.com it's fast and responsive. You see, it only takes like a couple of seconds and it's showing uh, the data of the coronavirus, the number of it uh, abroad and um, domestic. Next, I'm going to take a look, uh, of course, on their cameras. I'm going to test it. The camera, the front camera. First, I need the front camera. Very important. Okay, let's see. A video, photo, beauty, face kill. Face kill does not know what it means. Portrait, this portrait mode is not very good. And uh, on the phone I'm using right now, this can, hmm? if I, okay, it can zoom out to um, the maximum is four, four times of the current, the current one is, uh, 
what if you tap it or you can choose to tap it to select um, the angle how wide you want it to be two one or you just use your finger to zoom in and zoom out in the settings you can choose the frame 18.9 ratio you can choose the ratio 4.3 what is this is this like oh the nice square you can so that you can frame better i like this you can frame it better because it has the square that you will know like this what it is oh female 27 it shows my age 20 26 is my age yeah female 26 what how how did the hell so whenever i'm going to like do a selfie with my friend i don't need to ask her age so it just automatically shows my age i don't like it age is my secret i don't like it how why don't you say i'm 18 like 25 okay 33 oh hell no okay what is face kill face kill doesn't show anything but i'm surprised that i thought the beauty mode is just some filter or something it shows my age and stuff it shows like approximately how old you are i'm gonna turn it off i'm gonna turn this function off what no i don't want that <laughs> or oh, watermark beauty video beauty video um, they definitely add the filter on a lot of vlogger like to add a filter on but not me um i like the raw photos if usually i only add like brightness on it i only make it brighter lighter I don't add uh, like any filter on it because it's not me. <laughs> I'm going to shoot like a little video. Hey everyone! I'm also going to take a look on there. I'm going to shoot a short clip of my uh, workshop those are my filament my printers my laser cutters still messy oh my god so messy because i i've ordered so many stuff since i come back from thailand other so many stuff from taobao to do more diy projects okay oh they have a face and lock function now right now i have my makeup on so um <laughs> If I take my makeup off, I don't know what will happen. So please proceed with caution as face unlock is generally less secure than other unlocking options. Go, go let, let me try. Okay, almost forgot. This the uh, camera is optional accessories. It doesn't come with the uh, Duji phone. So if you want to get it, you have to buy it uh, separately. Let's take a look on the specs. Let's pack it in and take a look. Oh, and then it has the small like enclosure for it to prevent the dust or water. Okay. I just downloaded their app camera file or usb camera uh you can find it on the google play store so it is using this camera instead of the other ones so i'm pointing this one at me maybe i would test it in the other room like in in the um i have a basement <laughs> in the um, uh, on the first floor this one I never use. there's nothing in here so it's pretty dim right now it's pretty dim I can see myself and the light is on uh, you cannot see but the, all the LED lights up man I looks like a zombie this one yeah nothing in here at first when I check out this um, place I thought this on the first floor it has a uh, bathroom or something but it doesn't have it's just like a storage room man i look pretty scary like a zombie okay thoughts i like the monster building battery of the s80 i reviewed last time 
but when it needs a charge, it takes a while to top up and that means you are tethered to a charger and a wall. Having the battery charge on its own, then you just slap it on the back of the phone means you can always walk around and use your phone without being tethered to a cable. The speakers sound good, but I use headphones. I wish they were optional or if they have another add-on as an alternative maybe, still teens might like it. I think the clip on camera is very useful. I'm a big fan of wearable cameras for personal security. I could definitely see clipping this on if I was someplace a bit dodgy. It's a smarter add-on for a rugged phone than a speaker in my opinion. The phone is waterproof these days, that's pretty much mandatory since we all need to be sanitizing our phones once or twice a day. All the hand washing doesn't matter if you grab the same germ cover from right after you wash your hands. Phones need to be rugged enough to stand up to regular cleaning. And I think that's an edge the Doogee will have over its more slick competition. Is this a phone for the boardroom? Of course not. But if you are in any sort of trade where your staff gets dirty, or you are in contact with a lot of people and you need to clean your phone as often as your hands, it's a solid bet and I can recommend it. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. For all of you affected by COVID-19, be a hero. Stay home if you can. I'm shooting as many videos as I can to keep you entertained. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.